we now await the lights. We got five lights then. It's Jamie on pole. We can't any do anything in a second as we're underway here at Imola. And one getting off the line and I think it's Jamie who made it to go side by side. I think Danny uh, or Jamie just holds on as Danny's still in hot pursuit of the race leader in the Aston Martin. Um, yeah, all of them head through Piratella now on to uh, Aqua Minerali. But yeah, it is Jamie who uh, was actually able to keep that lead. Uh, surprisingly, yeah. as Fox has left the session again, so I think he must be having some connection issues. To shine the camera on you, <laughs> they're doing it today. But I don't know. Yeah, thank Robbie, you, drivers. Uh, if Eminem wants his one back or not. From Lavi, Lavi's got his teammate. Who's ran wide up there? That's that's it's that, that one. one. Yeah, we oh. just got on board with that because that contact he might have caused. He's a very, very gentleman. Here we go. This is where you see a lot of the action zones currently, and they've gone through. Has he gone through their perspective up the road? Wow, this is only lap three. Yeah, it is a great battle. Um, they were able to carry it side by side with the British Kings as well. Pretty clean racing. 13. Yep, there he goes with the DRS. Lines up alongside the Williams then as they head into uh, the Tamarello chicane. Later, further back in the field, I think at the moment. And Nico is going to be almost side by side with the junior team per se, the Alfa Romeo of Futuristic. And that's the man that's leading the championship as well. But they're all tucked yeah, up in the um, DRS train. The top three is like pretty, um, they're pretty up and down the field at the moment. The only person in the top three in the championship is uh, Snella Henke in P8 and Futuristic's down in P12. And Lau is just falling down place as Futuristic goes down a place as uh, Nico Dishu gets past um, the Alfa Romeo driver for P12. And somewhere, there he is on the grass, lost the complete oh. front wing. And what has happened to him? He's got a bit of work to do too, mate, because that was basically turn six and you've got to go all the way around the track now to get your way back without a front wing. Got to take some time. He's going off to the grass. Look at this. The young Finn playing uh, an expensive lawnmower right there in that Red Bull and has dropped to Vito as well as and getting a penalty. So he's had a bit of a brush with... He's dropped a place. Where is he? He's out. He's playing Sandcastles out there, beaching it. Oh, look at the rear end sliding all over the place. He's trying to keep it straight as he's trying to put the pedal to the metal. And the Ferrari driver losing a couple of places as well. Vito might be making a run as well, but we're going to keep an eye on this overtake at the moment. That could look very much like a classic 101 there. Lavi getting past. Championship yet. And so it is still all to play for in the championship. So I think we might see it go down to the last round, considering that this is left. The outside. red line heading into Piratella as he goes on the outside. Henke forced wide. Is Ocean Chief going to stick his nose into this battle? May I wonder, but uh, Henke. May I wonder, but uh, Henke is ahead as oh no, they actually make contact there, and Henke's been forced off. Oh, massive and, collision! Oh dear! And, yeah. yeah, that is Henke, uh, who rejoins the track, makes contact with Ocean Chief, and now both of them have damage. It's ended. Replay real quick there. I wanted to see what happened. It's going to pull it up on the screen. No, I don't have replay system even working here at the moment. But anyway, it's for the highlights later. They said to go to Merlin. I just did. But a little bit too late because he got the overtake done. So nursing a penalty. But don't worry about that. It's still early days. And Danny Co. Oh, has he gone wide? He's gone massively wide and he's collided. He's collided oh, with the Mercedes. No. And he's out. That's got to bring a safety car out. It has. Safety car. So if he does have any front wing damage, which I can't see, he should still be okay. He didn't lose his only one place as Jamie's in. The battle ended out like that, but it's racing. Sometimes these it things is, just yeah, happen. It is. At least, I'd have to say when you're up the front of the field, unless you've got less chances of it occurring to you, don't you? A little stone or a, a bit of pick-off tyre flicking me in the eye at 300 kilometers an hour. It's nothing. <laughs> a lot of penalties. FIA, please. When he had that lap one crash with uh, Fernando Alonso, just went completely over the car. As we're actually racing again, yeah. uh, safety car was. I think Ice wins on the back of uh, Nico for P9. Oh, somebody's yep, going wide out there. Who was that? I saw somebody go oh, wide there. Greaser's that out. Oh, that was Greaser then that went wide. I just saw in the Nico. back. Oh, it's just too oh. much there. That's going to be under massive pressure there from Danico. Danico is going to be able to sneak this one in easily, peasily. He should be able to. No, he's not. Danico's going wide. We have everybody going wide out Ooh. there, all playing sandcastles into this what? turn here. Hold your eyes, close on, close, bleh. close your eyes, hold on. There it is. Yeah, this could, um, he might actually try it into, um, 
might try to into Valerian to Vilna. No, he doesn't. But um, Danny remains ahead. And uh, he's actually got past Merlin as well. So um, Danny Co has right now. Absolutely on the power early. And just very, very confident to get this job done. It's going to be one yeah, second. Yeah, I must say. Um, yeah. Ooh, as Fox goes wide. But I must say, yeah, Danny Co is uh, doing some pretty impressive. Well, so pretty good stuff from Danico. He's driving a pretty good race today as he gets past the uh, championship leader Futuristic there. Now on the back of Fox for P6, I believe. Actually, Futuristic made the move on him. There goes Danico on Fox. As Fox had a bit of a slow yeah. Maybe that weight advantage of no helmet is really coming into play for <laughs> Danico. Merlin in the moment putting some pressure there on that one. This some great. I think he actually had a bit of a slide there. Yep, there goes Icewind on that one. Round the outside of Tosa. Um, Step outside really quickly to hand a document. It is a run actually from Make Ender, so at least Make Ender's going to get an overtake maybe done on Desi before I had to go outside and do that so I can capture that action. Has he got it? He has done it. Good job. Make Ender up a P2. Come back now at Fox, believe it or not. Remember, that one's got old tires, but I think Fox with seven lap mediums should be able to control him in the corners, which he's done. Which he's done. But Merlin, yeah, at the that one is on pressure. Have... On the on soft tires, go ahead. Yeah, that one is probably going to have to pray that um, uh, Fox makes some sort of um, error there. So there is Icewind on Merlin, actually. In... Uh, so the pair of them are side by side, heading into turn one. And no, actually, um, Icewind ahead, just even before turn one. So good stuff from Icewind. That is him up into P7. Uh, he's been on a pretty good charge through the field as well. Yeah, I tell you what, I'd love to be one of those people with one of those houses right next to the track because there is actually some houses next to the track because Icewind's finally actually getting rid of those tyres. Wow. He only stretched them to 54% to the front right. That is pretty impre impressive from uh, Icewind, though. Speaking but, of uh, which, Fox is out. Where is he? Oh. there He should be on the track there. Is it the pit lane? Did he hit the pit lane entrance? I think he did. He did, yeah. Let's have a look. And then he just got, he got resetted to the... Entry. What? Oh, oh yeah, no, that's yeah. That oh, he was the victor. Like, no penalties. Let's say, just just no penalties, perhaps, because in this race right now, love has gone around. In this race Ooh. right now, you can see that. I mean, how many penalties there are that applied? And let's have a look where the car is. Is parked over here, just to the left of the wall. Bang! It's in there. And that's unfortunate for that driver, but it's going to be fortunate for people to get rid of those tires. Seconds. All right. Apologies about that, but it's annoying me if I don't do it every time. All right, cool. Especially because we got more racing here in Imola this weekend. Boxing for everybody, no doubt. Absolutely as well. Lavi, did he get any damage? He's going to have to box, of course. Yeah, it's a free now. stop. But look at that. May Kenda is already caught. Bang. P1. That's the most unfortunate thing you've ever had to see for a driver. What a horrible time for it to come out. They're running low on fuel. So the car's light. It's got brand new boots on it. This is going to come down to van, man versus machine. Let's go racing here for the second safety car. We'll stay on board, actually, I think, with Jamie because he's got Meepo up the road and he's almost lost it. Did he get him? Didn't get a warning. He's on that threshold. He's on the absolute bubble. We got it. We're on the last lap. That's the gap to leader that I'm showing. Jamie's 1.4. Got this one in the bag. Who wants that P2 position? Desi and Make Ender. That's where it's at now. What a, what, a, what a race, guys. What a race. Absolutely brilliant. And he gets the fastest lap. He won't unfortunately get that no penalty award. An extra what no penalty point that as I said the league should be dishing out. Hopefully they will next season. But anyway, we'll get we're gonna lose it out to Jamie that wins this race. After all the odds were stacked against the man. Everything. Last minute pit last minute. And uh, then the fact that uh, he had no penalties um while the rest of the grid had him, it just left him with such a big advantage. And that allowed him to uh, cruise past for P5 to take the victory in the final few laps. So I must say, uh, really...